The white flag is raised. Off and running over two and a half miles in the grade two railway barless mullen hurdle. Racing down the back straight, it's Flooring Porter straight to the front, followed by Ashdale Bob, home by the Lee. Bob Bollinger on the outside of Zanny here. And then Gatsby Gray, written away from the first flight, Sard de Burley, last year's second and winner the year before. Futurum Regiment Commander of Fleet, the final couple. Turning out of the back straight, quite a run before they reach the second flight, and it's Flooring Porter, building up an early advantage of two and a half lengths over Ashdale Bob, half a length back to in third place, home by the Lee, and then Gatsby Gray, Bob Bollinger and Zanny here. And this half dozen have broken away from Sar de Burley, Futurum Regium, and Commander of Fleet. Coming up to the end of the first half mile, Flooring Porter, the dual stairs champion under Danny Mullins turned in, leading Ashdale Bob and Sean O'Keefe, and then home by the Lee and JJ Slevin, Gatsby Gray, Philip Inright next and fourth, and then Bob Ollinger and Rachel Blackmore on the inside. Zanna here and Jack Kennedy. They're followed downhill by Futurum Regium and Owen Walsh. Sound to Burnley, the man of Mark Walsh. The back marker is the Sam Ewing ridden commander of fleet. Over the center flight in this line, as home by the Lee gets a reminder, is Flooring Porter, followed by Ashdale Bob, moving into third place, Bob Bollinger, back over hurdles, having spent last season chasing, and then Gatsby Gray and Zanny here, home by the Lee is laboring, is giving best to the leaders, climbing the hill with the circuit to go. After home by the Lee, there's a sizable six, seven lengths to start the Burley, and then Futurum Regiment Commander of Fleet. One circuit to go. Seven flights left to jump. It's Flooring Porter. By good three lengths to Ashdale Bob. Break of just over the length to Bob Ollinger and then Gatsby Gray and Zanny here. Home by the Lee, followed by Sard de Burley, Futurum Regium. And last of all is Commander of Fleet. The flight at approximately the halfway stage. And it's Flooring Porter in front of Ashdale, Bob, Bob Ollinger. In fourth place is Gatsby Gray. In fifth is Zanny here. As they swing a left to head down the back straight to the first of three. In total, they have six left to jump. And it's Flooring Porter enjoying a couple of lengths advantage over Ashdale, Bob. In third is Bob Ollinger. And then Gatsby Gray and Zanny here. Four or five lengths to home by the lead. Bad mistake by Zanny here there. Hit that flight. A fair pelt. As Flooring Porter leads two and a half lengths. Ashdale Bob at the end of a circuit. Then Bob Bollinger, Gatsby Gray. Zanny here more fluent at that. And then home by the Lee, who's been struggling for quite some time. And then Futurum Regim, Sarda Burley, and Commander of Fleet. Racing to the last on the far side, this will be four flights from the finish and the railway bar, grade two, Lismullen and Hurdle. Flooring Porter yet to be headed. Ashdale Bob has never been too far off. And then Bob Bollinger and Zanny here and Gatsby Gray, home by the Lee, ridden along as Sard de Burley, then Futurum Regiment Commander of Fleet. Turning out of the back straight, good run to the third last flight. Flooring Porter, closed upon by Ashdale Bob, who's now within a length. Another length then to Bob Ollinger and Gatsby Gray. Zanny here next with Home by the Lee, responding to J.J. Slevin's urgings. And then Sard de Burley, two in front of Futurum Regiment Commander of Fleet. Homeward bound with four and a half furlongs to go and three flights to jump. Floating Porter continuing to put in a good shift. Ashdale Bob almost on terms. Then Bob Ollinger home by the lead. Driven up on the outside. Then Gatsby Gray, Zanny here and Sarda Burley. And then there's a gap to Commander of Fleet and Futurum Regium. Turning in for the final three flights. Floating Porter, Danny Mullins, the black and white from Ashdale Bob. Sean O'Keefe and coming there is Bob Ollinger, the half jacket of Rachel Blackmore. Ashdale Bob screwed that. Home by the Lee is there in the middle of the track for J.J. Slevin. Coming down towards the second last. Falling away is Floating Porter. And it's Bob Ollinger coming to the front at the second last. From home by the Lee and then Ashdale Bob and Floating Porter in between the final two flights in the railway bar list. Mullen Hurdle. And it's Bob Ollinger gone for home. From home by the Lee. Then Ashdale Bob and Floating Porter the final flight. It's Bob Ollinger from home by the Lee on the outside. Running up the hill towards the finish. 
and it's home by the lee. Surprise, surprise here. It's home by the lee and JJ Slevin getting the better of Bob Ollinger as they run up to the finish. It's a shock in the railway bar list, Mullen Hurdle. Home by the lee, the winner from Bob Ollinger, Ashdale, Bob and Flooring Porter. Brendan Powell is representing Joseph O'Brien here at Navin today. What a weekend it's been for the stable. Brendan crowned by that win for home by the lead. An extraordinary performance in the railway bar list, Mullen Hurdle. JJ Slevin would not take no for an answer, would he? No, he wouldn't. Uh, JJ knows him. And look, Gary, he hits a flat spot every time he runs. And um, the one thing he does do is he stays very well. The big long straight here suited him. Um, but he's a very genuine horse when it comes to it. He does try, you know, but he just gets halfway through a race and coming past here, I was thinking it was it it, it, it looked pretty uh, it looked a pretty, pretty bleak. Uh, pretty bleak, but when you know the horse, you know if he can just keep onto their tails, he'll come home. He did the same last year when he was second at um, uh, at Gorham Park to that uh, Galmoy Hurdle to Royal yeah, Cahala, Cahala yeah. and he and he flew home that day. And, you know, he's ran against Florian Porter before. He's beaten seven lengths. Um, but no, look, he's, 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 he's a lovely horse and it's great for Sean. Mm, mercurial character he is. is. Is he a kind of tricky individual to deal with at home? He's not now, but apparently like, when he was broken in, I mean, he, he, he sort of bolted with lads on the road and everything. Apparently he wasn't the easiest and they did a great job with him. Um, you know, he's still a horse you'd be wary of at home, but he's actually, he's, he's got very good now and, um, you know, he's got into a routine at home, he, but he's good doing that. But he's still got this little kink like he showed it down royal, you know, and uh, you wouldn't show him a wing too often. Um, <laughs> but look, he, you know, he jumps hurdles very well, but he's very honest and he stays well. Had he been kept ticking over since then? Well, I know that was late August, wasn't it? Yeah, he did. It was, you know, I suppose trying to find a horse, a race for a horse with his rating. And, um, you know, Joseph obviously targeted this. He is a better horse fresh as well, I think. And, um, you know, Joseph knew that. And, and this is the race for him. And uh, thank God it's worked out at the end of the day. It's worked out an absolute tree. What about future plans, Ben? And I suppose... He's won a nice prize today. Did you actually feel you were coming in here a bit under the radar with all the talk about the big guns? Yeah, it's funny. Myself and uh, Wayne were talking about it earlier, and I said to Sean, I said, I, I thought, just thought at the price, he, you know, I, th I thought he'd definitely be third or fourth anyway. Um, but, you know, he's, uh, look, he surpassed that, and he's gone and won, so we'll see. You know, I suppose Joseph will have to start thinking about a stairs hurdle type of horse with him, you know what I mean? He, you know, we were thinking well, that. He ran badly in it last time. No, not at all, no. So, um, you know, another year under his belt, and... Uh, but look, I'm sure that there's uh, there's plenty of water under the bridge before then, but I'll leave that to Joseph. Super weekend, as I say. Has Banbridge arrived back after yesterday? Got back at half nine this morning. He looks great. Um, look, it was a lovely race for him. He, yeah, at the moment, he looks a bit of a special horse, doesn't he? He, he sort of uh, he jumps, he travels, he goes on most grounds. He wouldn't want it very testing. Um, yeah, I think he's a horse in a year's time. He'll stay three miles, I bet you, no problem. He could be a King George type of horse in a year's time. But at the minute... Look, he, he did everything right yesterday, and um, it was it was lovely to watch. Yeah, I mean, Gorham was a lovely start, but to me, that just took it to another level, didn't he? He was taken on, racing against good horses. I mean, Tommy's Oscar obviously had run in a champion hurdle, etc. Were you pretty confident all the same? Yeah, I mean, Tommy's Oscar travelled great coming down the hill, and you know, when JJ sort of kicked off the bend on him, it took a while to get his stride, but the way he jumped the last two as well. And um, you know you can get the, you can get horses who are maybe a few pounds below top class, but if they can jump well, they'll 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 gain those few pounds. But you know, look, he's a, he's a young horse on the up, and it's great for Ronnie Bartlett. Um, but you know, he, he he looks special at the moment, so let's hope he can keep going that direction. You know, super weekend for JJ. I know you'd be tough for him, Brendan. He's only just got back from a nasty enough injury, as he took both chances with a plum. Yeah, I mean, he hadn't ridden for it was about three weeks before he rode yesterday, and. Uh, yeah, I think I think Thursday when he was trying to get past, it was sort of, or Wednesday, he was hoping that he would, and he did, um, and it was it was great for him, you know what I mean? So, but not bad for a for a trainer who's sort of doesn't want to that train many jumpers. That's got to be my next <laughs> question. Yeah, yeah, I keep saying, what the hell is he doing? You know, but um, no, look, look, we 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 got some lovely jumpers for the season, not as many as we had, but um, look, with the, with these two now winning those two prizes, it might encourage him to buy a few more. Hopefully, <laughs> well, I want him to keep going with them. Quality over quantity is not a bad way to go, anyway. No, exactly. So um, no, but look, it's a great day today, and it's great for Sean and everybody at home. So super stuff, Brendan. Thanks a lot. Well done. Lovely. Thanks, Appreciate Gary. It.